And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the New York Mets and the Milwaukee Brewers. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. David Wright, he of course leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And starting this one, Wade Miley. Singy, he's looking at a nice little milestone here. Well, he's been sitting on 99 career wins. I think he's got it in him for 100 today. Excited to be in the Ready chair and watch him work. Ready to go now. Here's some real power at the plate. Starling Marte. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Jeff McNeil stands in. The pitch. Marte of the move. Line drive. A dive and he can't haul it in. Marte is waved home. Yeah, with a relay throw, but it's offline. He will score. And it's 1-0. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. So digging in, Keith Hernandez. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. That misses the zone, three and one. McNeil stands at second with no outs. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. McNeil around third. Now a long throw home. The run comes in to score from second, and they lead by two. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Here comes a pitch. That's, That's down and in. The pitch. Oh, that's out. Nobody out. Runner at first. Aye. That pitch clips the outside corner. Counts go. full three and two. And he deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. That is it. And stepping the in for New York, David Wright. David Wright. Right. In there. And so now one and two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And now it's one and two. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Hernandez. Round second on his way to third. Hernandez coming home. Yeah. With a relay home. It's offline. And he scores. And they're up by three. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double.
And now it's Frankie Lindor. No hits in the shutout yesterday afternoon. Moved to second, and he hey. just got his hand in there. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? Haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. His favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Miley, he's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep, and that is especially valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the ballpark so much. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you want the bases to be empty. And that's where Lindor swings and blasts one. Deep left field. It bangs off the wall. Yeah, with a relay throw. Not in time. He scores. And they lead by four. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Moved to second, and they got him. Tough start for him so far, already at 30 pitches here in the first. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Ripped on a line. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that's the third out. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Mets four and the Brewers nothing. Back here at the ballpark, today's starting pitcher, Tom Seaver. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. Here's the veteran outfielder, Ryan Braun. For the Brewers, the left fielder, Ryan Braun. There's a strike. He's already pitching with a 4 nothing lead, so we should see him be aggressive. Fill up the strike zone. Don't issue free passes. And yeah, it's even up. Two, two the count. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction table setters on the base paths and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie and instead of it being a solo shot it's a two or three run homer line drive base hit 
Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Going to count one and two. And a pitch. And now two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. The next offering misses. Full count three and two. And ball four, two aboard. Pretty good pitch on three, two, right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. The designated hitter. First and second, two down. Oh, Willie Adamas stands in. Hitless yesterday as they only pushed across one run. That's Next cool. one misses. And a count, two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. Two outs. That misses, and the count's full. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Good plate oh, appearance yeah, there. Able to take the walk. Two walks in the first has to be some cause that for concern. Good. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. At the play, Greg Vaughn fouls one off. Two and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And here it comes. Just off the inside edge. And now filled up. Back to work. 3-2 now. That one misses. And that'll bring home a run. Man, that looked to be in the strike zone right there. That's a tough one to have go against you and force in a run. And now it's William Contreras. 3-2 now. Caught him looking for the K. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We move to the second in Milwaukee. It's the Mets four, and the Brewers one. Back here at American we Family Field. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. And a 1-1. One, one. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. And that's down and away. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really. Just a fair chance to go out and have success. Pretty nasty cutter right there. And you're seeing that pitch, that location a lot more these days. And you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. It was just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play. So I can feel for the guy right there walking back to the dugout. Here's Tommy Pham. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Oh, 
A wind and a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Next offering misses, and the count's even at two. On the ground to the left. Urias to first in time. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Mets four, and the Brewers one. Back here in Milwaukee, bottom half of inning number two. Up now for Milwaukee, Tyrone Taylor. The 1-1. One -one. And that's through there for a strike. Here's a 1-2. Bounce to the right. He handles it himself and quickly won away in the second. Batting nuts. The second baseman. Abraham Toro. Abraham Toro up now for the Brewers. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And that one is lifted in the air. Fan calls it in two away. Now bad. No left field. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. And here is Ryan Braun. He's 0 for 1. The wind of the pitch. Smash to the left side. Whips it across. And that ends the inning. Brewers go down quietly. And they trail it 4-1. Welcome back. All set Leading for the start of the now. inning. And now here's the Jeff McNeil. Jeff, Jeff. McNeil. Goalie's back out here for the third. And after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Well, these Mets doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. And that's just foul. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. And he hits a ground ball right side. And foul ball. Two-two now. Struck him out swinging. Gassed it right by him. So up next, Keith Hernandez. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. The pitch. Misses inside, and it's two and one. There's the swing and a miss. in the air left field that gets down for a hit so a man aboard now with one away runner on at first with one gone so up next for New York Pete Alonzo the 2-1 good ball. eye right there three balls one strike And now it's filled up. Hernandez stands at first with one out. Oh. 
And he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Right. And next for the Mets, David Wright. One for one with a double and a run scored. Runners at first and second with one gone. Now he breaks his bat. On the run, sends it over to first. Awesome play there. Well, that actually works out for the hitter. If it's not a broken bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Doubled in his first A.B. Two and one now. Two aboard. That one fouled off. Hey, it's still early in this ball game, but, you know, this at bat right here could be a big factor in the outcome. You think about it. There's a chance to really blow this thing open right here. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Two left for the Mets as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. And welcome back. Bottom of the Luis inning. Yonka. Here's Luis Arias. The third base. Okay. You talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Here's a 1-1. And a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Prince Fielder. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. The wind of the pitch. That one lifted to left. Coming on is Fam to make the play. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete. It's the Mets four and the Brewers one. Back here at the ballpark. Start of the fourth. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. The pitch. There's a strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. The one, two. Nope, that's off the plate. Ball two. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Now batting, catch it, Francisco. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. One down, base is empty. And downstairs. Strike two. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three, two. Fly ball down the line. 
Taylor makes the catch two away down. Now back left field. And now Tommy Fan went down on strikes his first time through. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. On the ground at first. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Mets, but they lead it 4-1. to one. Back here at American Family Field, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Willie Adamas. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. And it is gone. He sends one out the opposite way. His first homer of the year. And they inch closer. It's 4-2. Great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true enough to stay fair. I mean, that's a good feeling when you can hit an opposite field home run, and he did it right there. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Well, these Brewers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Right-hander kicks, deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Righty delivers. That one drilled left field. Coming on is Pham to make the play. The bat, the catcher, William. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. He is a talented player. His big brother Wilson has voice that his little brother may end up being better than he is. Next pitch, not close, up high. And there's a strike on the outside corner. down swinging for the strikeout couldn't hit the fastball at the knees the right bat seemed to be Number over 15. as soon as it started three pitch strikeout you've got to be better at the plate right there at least to foul something off extend that at bat next for the Brewers Tyrone Taylor 0 for 1 he grounded out in his first at bat next offering is in for a strike Righty to the plate. Oh. Just missed. It's a good take. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And the righty deals. You now with the shift on, hits right into it. Fires over to Hernandez. That's out number three. But the Brewers add one with a solo shot. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Adrian Hauser into the game. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about You're middle right, innings, and a little now, length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper back to the top of the lineup Starling Marte up now for the Mets ball to strike line drive and that's a base hit out of the center field 
Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And now it's going to be Jeff two McNeil. Ball, Not close with that one. Two and two. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Well, that slider was way out of the zone and for me it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand not tracking it into the zone and then also being a little bit anxious not confident in your two strike approach and so when a guy's in that position you get him to commit early and a lot of times you get the swing and miss as you did right there. Stepping in the long ball threat Keith Hernandez. Throw to first. Marte no, dives back that. in. Working down to the zone to start the at bat. Looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. Marte of the move. There's a ball. Throw, save. That's a stolen base. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job of controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base stealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. 3-1 is on the way. And that's ball four. Ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first now base with a quick free pass. So one out with two aboard. Here's Pete Alonso. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And a foul ball. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Kicks and deals. Fights it off. You'll see another. One out. Runners at first and second. Next pitch in the dirt. Ball two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. David Wright in the on-deck circle. And the right-hander deals. That one the other way. Dives to the bag. Got him. Double play. Mets leave one as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, the Abraham second baseman. Toro. Abraham Toro. And the pitch. That one drifts inside. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a good eye there. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Ryan. Ryan.
<laughs> Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Ryan Braun. Three and two now. Ground ball, left side. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now Next for Milwaukee, Luis Urias. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Simply now said, bad. this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just well, disconnected man. from head to toes yeah, yeah. in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Robin Yell up now for the Brewers. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Alvarez to first in time. And that's the inning. Milwaukee leaves one. They trail it here, four to two. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And stepping in for New York, David Wright. Right. Goes down looking. Here's Francisco now, now, Lindor. Now, the short shot. Francisco. Love how Lindor. vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Swing and a base hit. Well, he found himself behind now, in the now, count now. right there, but the he didn't three. give in. Nice job Brandon. of driving that pitch the yeah. other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now, Brandon Nimmo. Check swing. He went, and it's one and two. Right-handed reliever. Double play ball to second. There's one. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Mets four and the Brewers two. here in Milwaukee bottom of the six now the Brewers cleanup hitter Prince Fielder the 1-1 one, one. not the best swing that time from the first round pick action in the Mets bullpen David Robertson getting ready to go Rayleigh a left-hander also throwing The one two. That one oh, missing inside. inside. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. And down on strikes. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Now it's the DH, Willie Adamas. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. The 2 2. And that's downstairs and outside. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Greg Vaughn up now for the Brewers. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. Hard hit left side. Slings it across. That ends the frame. Gone in order are the Brewers. Still down by a count of four to two. Joel Pires on the pitch out of the pen here. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. Well, these Mets, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've seen how many line drive base hits they've been able to produce in this one. Six to be exact, and they've all been pretty loud. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Struck him out looking. The right fielder, number six. So the batting Four order right. turns over. And Marte. now the right fielder, Starling Marte. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. One, two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. David Robertson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's the Brewers catcher now, William Contreras. The catcher. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues, and this kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother, and he smiled as well said yeah he's good and gave me that look that I think he might be better than me eventually pitch misses there and yeah, that's ball two and here it comes on the ground to first. Whips it to first on the run. And that quickly two away. The bat, number 13. Second baseman, Abraham Toro. Up now for Milwaukee, Abraham Toro. Out to short. 
Lindor jumps, throws, hey. safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first, and not every shortstop could even make that play. A new pitcher in the game, Adam Ottavino. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Adam Ottavino. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Ryan Broad. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Slider misses outside. Toro, the runner at first with two gone. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Third base number two. Luis Urias up now for the Brewers. And the pitch. And he pumps it a strike. He goes down looking. Aaron Ashby comes on now. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high. It just breaks a ton. So digging in, Jeff McNeil. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup yeah, yeah. as a left-handed hitter facing McNeil. a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That one fouled off, two and two. Here comes a pitch. On the ground. He takes it on his own, and that's one away. As the leadoff man the is out in the eighth. Keith Hernandez. Keith Hernandez now at the plate. Kicks and fires. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Nobody can get there and it's a foul ball. And a ball and two strikes. Good eye in that spot. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Hobie Milner, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Three, two now. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Next pitch has popped up. Yeah. Tosses to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eight. Now that designated hitter, Pete Alonso. Two out, space is empty. And next is the designated hitter, Pete Alonso. And a pitch. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. 
A little bit low. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. This looks like extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in, and that's a double. The third base hit of the five. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And in scoring position with two away. Now the third baseman, David Wright. 1-1 one, one now. Right checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. The 2-1. Way out front for strike two. Two outs and one in scoring position. That misses, and it's a full count. Francisco Lindor waiting to hit for the Mets. Here comes a 3-2. Got it. And that is that. Mets strand one, but they still lead this one 4-2. So they bring on the veteran, John Franco. This is his first appearance of the season. Your attention, please. Now pitching toward the net, number 34, John Franco. Now it's the shortstop, Robin Young. For the Brewers, the shortstop, Robin Young. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2 2. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two 2 now. This one in the air center field. Nimmo pulls that one down, one down. Now bad. First base hit. So next it's the Brewers cleanup hitter, Prince Fielder. Bounce to third. Over to first, two up, two down. Throw a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough now to get in the now. air. Good downward the break on that one. Hitter. Willie Adamas. So now here's the DH, Willie Adamas. He's already homered in this game. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And that one missing low. Greg Vaughn to bat next. And there's ball four. four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. Now, the game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. A chance at his first now, save of the year. Number 39. You know, Chris, I'm told that Edwin Diaz keeps an entire bucket of bubble gum in his locker. It's a whole lot of sugar. Man at first, Greg Vaughn up now for the Brewers. Adamas off of first with two away. And it is two and one. Upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. William Contreras up next for the Brewers. Now fly ball to right center. Nimmo ranging after it. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is that.
They hand the ball over to a new arm. Matt Bush. Pretty tight You're game, so they're lead. looking for quality pitches now, now out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score one. right where it is. Matt. Bush. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Here's a 1 1. There's a strike. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Obi Milner, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. The one two. Just off the outside part of the plate. And now the count filled up three and two. Stays alive. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Lindor on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Try to add on to that lead. Oh, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. In the air, left field. Braun pulls it down, and that will end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. It's the Mets four and the Brewers two. Welcome back. Bottom of the night. Here's the Brewers catcher now, William Contreras. Contreras. Here's a one-two. Got him swinging. Slider got him for a strike three. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their the starter. Yeah, we've 15. seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. The one-one. That's ball two. On the ground, out to short. Slings to first, and they're down to their last out. The batter, number 13, second baseman, Abraham Toro. Abraham Toro digs in now. Oh, you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup That's have a ball. chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Two and one now. That's in there. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Got him looking. That's the ball game. I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel a five game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight game losing streak. 
And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final, the final line score for, for our ball, ball game tonight, tonight for, the for the victorious, victorious New York Mets. Mets. Four runs, four runs on nine, nine hits, hits. no errors. They, they left six men on base. base. For the for Brewers, the Brewers two, two runs, runs on five, five hits, hits, no errors. They, they left seven, seven men on base. base. Time of the ball game, two, two hours, hours and 46 minutes. minutes. Thank, Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please Drive home, home safely. safely.